near mint condition, the home of collected oh, edition. That cover is so awesome. That, as they say, is that. Marvel Comics, let's go ahead and get started. What's going on, all you mentees? Uncanny Omar here from Near Mint Condition, the home of Collected Editions. And anybody else excited for that Deadpool Wolverine movie? Well, if you are, I've got a list of eight essential Collected Editions from Marvel Comics that focus on Deadpool and on Wolverine. So stay tuned. This video is sponsored by Marvel Comics, so thank you so much to David Gabriel and the folks at Marvel for sending us the list of the eight essential collected editions that focus on Deadpool and, of course, some of it on Wolverine. So I'm going to go through each and every one of these and talk just a little bit about what they are. And I'll be showcasing, of course, what the covers look like in case you're looking for them. So these particular books will get you ready for the movie or in case you want to get to know the characters a little bit more. So we are kicking off this list with a book that is for all ages. That's right, anybody can read this particular book. And the list officially starts with Marvelverse, Deadpool and Wolverine, a book that features both of the characters. This is the smaller size, digest size type of book. Uh, that's what the Marvelverse line is. And it pretty much what it does is get you to know the characters in a quick and easy way. And this collects Marvel Adventure Superheroes 4, Marvel Universe Ultimate Spider-Man Web Warriors number 8, Free Comic Book Day 2009 Wolverine Origin of an X-Man, and Marvel Adventures Spider-Man number 3. The next book on the list is Deadpool vs. Wolverine. So this particular collection has Wolverine 88 and 154 and 155, Deadpool 27, Cable and Deadpool 43 and 44, Wolverine Origins 21 through 25, Wolverine Deadpool, The Decoy, and then material from Wolverine Annual 95 and 99. And those are the years, 95 and 99. So you're going to find work in here from Simon Bianchi, Larry Hama, Daniel Way, Adam Kubert, just to name a few of the creators. And what it does is it takes you through the many years that the two characters have come and crossed paths with each other. And also swords and claws with each other. Next up, if you like a little bit of more horror in your books, then Deadpool Kills the Marvel Universe is another book that Marvel just recently reprinted. Uh, this collects Deadpool Kills the Marvel Universe 1 through 4. This is by Colin Bunn, uh, Carrie Andrews, and Dalibor Talajak doing some of the artwork in here. This is more of a what if. What if Deadpool had killed the Marvel Universe? And it's a lot of fun with a little bit of a dark twist. Deadpool vs. Deadpool Corpse is the next book I'm going to be talking about. Collecting the prelude to the Deadpool Corp 1 through 5, Deadpool Corp 1 through 12, and then Deadpool Family. What this does is introduce you to the idea that the multiverse has different Deadpools, including Dogpool, uh, Lady Deadpool, and the Kid Deadpool, and then the Deadpool head from the zombie universe. Uh, you have the co-creator, Rob Liefeld, coming back to the book, uh, Victor Gishler and Ed McGinnis doing some of the work in here. Uh, this is one that just recently came out in 2024. Now, if you want to start from the very beginning, because who doesn't want to do that and as far as collected edition but not everybody has to if you want to get everything without missing a beat or an issue the epic collections are the way to go so deadpool epic collection the circle chase is the one that they recommend this collects of course his first appearance new mutants 98 x-force 2 11 and 15 nomad number 4 deadpool the circle chase 1 through 4 secret defenders 15 through 17 deadpool the second miniseries 1 through 4 and then material from the avengers 366 and Silver Sable in the Wild Pack 23. So these epic collections collect the stories in chronological order. So you'll have his first appearance and you'll have his next appearance in X Force 2 and 11. Of course, uh, this is by Rob Liefeld and Fabian Uciesa. And then you get some of Mark Wade's miniseries in here. And then you get to see how he deals with characters like the Secret Defenders in here. And that, of course, leads into the Joe Kelly era of Deadpool. Now, I did mention Rob Liefeld, and he did the, he got to come back to the character with Deadpool Bad Blood. Uh, this is the one by not only Rob Liefeld, but also Chris Sims and Chad Bowers. 
and just collects Deadpool Bad Blood 1 through 4 and introduces us to a new character named Thumper. Uh, it also guest stars some of his X Force team members, which you probably saw in the movie, like Cable and Shatterstar. Now, there was a follow up, which is another one on the list here, and that is Deadpool Batter Blood. And this collects that particular five issue miniseries. And it shows more of the relationship between Deadpool and the character of Thumper which had something to do with his past, but also not only guest stars Cable, but Wolverine. They become big players in this, and also introduces us to a brand new character named Shatterstorm. And the last book on the list is Deadpool, the Saga of Wade Wilson. So say you want to know more about the character of Deadpool, uh, but you want more to read than just the Marvelverse book, well, this picks some of the greatest hits from Deadpool's time, uh, whether it's his annuals or whether it's his first original series from the 90s or his follow-up series in 2012. So this collects Deadpool 3 through 5, 17 through 19, 57 through 61, Deadpool Death Annual 98, and Deadpool from 2012, 15 through 19. So you do have Joe Kelly writing a lot of the stories in here, as well as Ed McGinnis drawing some of the stories in here. Uh, you have Frank Terry writing some of the stories, and Jerry Duggan and Brian Poston with D Clan Shalvey finishing out that particular 2012 series. So it's a collection of different stories through different times that focus on the character of Deadpool, including the one by Frank Terry, like I mentioned. Uh, that one is where he goes back to the Weapon X project and also includes characters like Sabretooth, and you may see Wolverine in that. Now, the stories in here are meant for older readers as opposed to something like the Marvelverse book. So if you just want only one book to learn who Deadpool is, this is the one. That is your list of the eight essential Deadpool slash Wolverine collections that Marvel is pushing here. And all of these have come out recently or have been reprinted. So don't forget to check each and every one of those out. And who else is interested in more collections like an omnibus of Deadpool? It's been a while since we had a Deadpool omnibus. But if you have any questions, leave them down below. What would you consider essential? Leave that in the comment section. Smash that like button on the way out. That's it, everybody. Stay healthy and safe out there. Much love. <laughs>